Hey, I'm here to tell you today that the Bible is very clear. See, the Bible teaches us that we cannot serve two masters. Either you have to love the one and despise the other. You see, today I want you to know that there's many preachers today who who are spiritually dead. And the Bible says that a blind man cannot lead a blind man. You see, see, I'm here to tell you today, I'm not here to pick on people. I'm not here to down people. That's not what I do. But what I do do is I preach the truth. I preach with boldness through the Holy Ghost. I preach to wake up the body of Christ. That is my calling to do is to preach the gospel. And I'm here to tell you today that there is very many, 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 many preachers today are preaching and they're, they're, they're touching the flesh. Yes, they're touching the flesh, but they're never getting deep into the spirit. You see, we got to preach to cut into the spirit. You see, we need to be feeding the inner man, not the outer man. There's many churches today that are so, that, that you walk in and looks like a concert. Hey man, everybody's jamming out, looking like a, uh, uh, looking like kid rock concert, ball with the ball, the bang, the bang. You know, I'm what you know. Hey man, I'm not down in anything. If you're up beating with your, ba- you got bass guitars and you got, you know, these things. I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm saying this. We need to get back to what it's all about, and that is to worship in the Spirit. The Bible says we must worship in the Spirit. Many are worshiping in the flesh, and you're not going to please God like that. Hallelujah. you got to have that personal relationship with Christ Jesus today. The Bible says that a lukewarm Christian in the book of Revelation, Jesus said, I will spew you out of my mouth. You see, I want you to know today that you can't have one foot in heaven and one foot in hell. It doesn't work that way. Either you're all on fire for Christ Jesus, even though you're, you're living your life for Jesus, or or you're not. You can't be wishy-washy. You can't be half in, half out. Now, either you're living for Christ and you're doing the very best of your ability and the help of the Holy Ghost to live the holiest life that you can, even though the book of Revelation, or not the Revelation, but the book of Romans 23, 23 says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, even though God knows we're going to mess up, even though God knows we're going to fall short, even though we know that we're going to mess up every once in a while, you have to get up every day of your life and live the holiness that possible. The best life you can possibly live. Amen. I'm not talking Joe Lowstein best life you could ever live. Amen. I'm not talking that false that false doctor and bull baloney. Amen. About prosperity. No. No. I'm here to tell you today. Amen. You get a personal relationship with Christ Jesus. And amen. You got a you got a heaven up there to gain. Amen. And a hell to shame. Amen. You need to be worried about the kingdom things and not the worldly things. Somebody give me an amen. No, no, I mean Jesus and amen today. But I want you to know you better get a hold of God while you can. Amen. Time is very short church. Amen. This ain't the time to be playing